Back off. You or any of your swarm try and sting me, and I will go black flag on you. Do I know you? Chloe Sullivan? Freshman year, you tried to go Queen Bee and kill two of my best friends? How did you get past the orderlies? I don't understand. I don't belong in Belle Reef. I'm not a media freak anymore. I've been cured. A few weeks ago, I had an operation. Operation? Who was the doctor? Curtis Knox. He changed my life. My family told me about the terrible things I did in the past. But I'm different now. What do you mean your family told you? When they took away my powers, some of my memory went along with it. The last six years are blank. If I did anything to you or your friends, I'm really sorry. In everything, to be honest with you, um, people I meet, mm -hmm. um, stories, people's stories really inspire me. You know, just listening to the way somebody grew up or any kind of trials and tribulations that they've had to go through in their life, um, it just inspires me. And, um, you know, I learn from them and I get so into their stories yeah. all the time. You know, recently with, with the Olympics, just learning about all these athletes and how hard and how driven they were, just mm -hmm. like, you know, I literally was crying every single day just watching <laughs> them tell their stories and seeing their relationships and, you know, just, I don't know, just people around me, all around me, all the time are yeah. inspiring me yeah. um, just to do what I do. So Good. it's really interesting. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's great. <laughs> You're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> In my experience in this industry, um, the thing that always crushes me is the fact that there's such star power behind every character role. And I wish that the industry would just take a chance on somebody new, you know, take a chance on somebody who they see that's really bright and fresh and doesn't have like all this fan base and you know all this stuff behind them. Um, because I feel like so many people get lost in the shuffle, you know, and uh, don't get seen and they continue to use the same people over and over again, and it's, it kind of gets redundant after a while. Yeah, it's and interesting you mention that because I feel the exact same way with the industry as well. Yeah. So they're kind of closed in their little So groups. much in this little shell. Yeah, yeah. And it would be nice to see them just like take a chance on somebody, you know, mm -hmm. and, and actually, you know, put the money behind them and, and take a risk because yeah. that's what we have to do. Yeah, absolutely. You know? And just, from my perspective, I see so many auditions and, um, you know, I, I, I just am fathomed by the amount of great talent we have here in Vancouver and the amount of people that are actually struggling just to, totally. to get those, uh, those roles. Um, yeah, I think it's a, yeah, yeah. one area that, would, that definitely needs yeah. to improve. But at the same time, I mean, that does allow you to um, sort of, you know, if you find little groups of people yourself and find little communities, actual Absolutely. communities to... No, I mean, it, it makes you be more creative in your work and be more creative in and how you pursue it, you know, mm -hmm. and how much drive you actually have because it's so tough otherwise. Um, you know, I surprise myself all the time. I feel so great before I go in there and then I walk into a room like yesterday and I start shaking like a leaf out of nowhere. Um, so it, it really depends, you know. Um, some days I feel great, some days I get so super nervous out of nowhere honestly like for for a one line rule I'll start shaking so I think it's anxiety and um, you know just wanting something so much and you just kind of I assume that. specific roles may play a factor as well absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. totally when you when you feel really good about a role and you you kind of feel like you have this one in the bag you know yeah, as you're walking in the door you know that you have your work done and it's all there yeah, there's definitely a level of intensity for you that is a little bit nerve-wracking, so, yeah. So is it's sort of there almost with every audition? With everything. Say, it's yeah. like, you know, yeah. as soon as... I, I get this feeling as soon as I walk into any room, it's like this kind of like gurgling in my stomach. Mm -hmm. And now I've learned to like absolutely love that feeling because I, I know I feel alive when I go in the room. I'm like, oh yeah, okay, there it is. Um, there's that weird little anxiety thing. Just love it or, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? you, you got to learn yeah. to love it. Absolutely. Well, it, yeah, you, you know, you got to learn how to deal with it. And that's absolutely. Absolutely, if you can approach it that way, and 
learn to love it. Then yeah, learn to love it, yeah. and then <laughs> you'll succeed. <laughs>